There's nothing scarier than seeing something terrifying happen in your own home. What's even worse is when you get it on camera. Today I'm going to be showing you unexplainable paranormal videos from around the web. Some so scary, they have been banned in other countries. But before I show you anything, I'm gonna need you to smash that like button. That way I can tell the ghost in this video not to haunt your dreams forever. I don't know, she throws a doll down, she starts touching her neck. What you can notice too is that there's a lot of orbs floating around in the house. And then, look at this, so she lays down and then something grabs her leg Whoa. and starts pulling her back. Oh my God. <laughs> Still orbs, the girls run. I mean, I, I would have run oh, no, no. after. And then what's the girl doing? Is she possessed or something? Looks like the damn exorcist. What? Wow, that's some Linda Blair stuff right there. So then she starts knocking on the door. That's pretty scary stuff. God. This next clip has some context and I'm gonna go ahead and read that. Backstory. For months, my daughter has told us someone was in her closet months, occasionally naming a very specific family member that had passed. Now she says it's a bad man being a believer of this kind of stuff. I repeatedly told my husband that we should have our pastor come and bless the house. This is not the first thing that we had happen, nor is it the first caught on camera, but this was the first that is absolutely 1000% unexplainable. You can go ahead and read the whole context if you want. Let's get right into the video. You ready to see this? Yeah. They set up some cameras in the room where their daughter sleeps. Watch what happens to the left. Are you tired of boring, repetitive games that offer nothing new? Look no further than Raid Shadow Legends. Here are the top three reasons why you should join the over 80 million players already enjoying this game. Go ahead and do a countdown. Number three, the champions. With over 650 unique champions to collect from different factions, there's a champion for every playstyle. Plus the billions of ways to customize and build your champions, making each one truly unique. Number two, the content. Raid offers endless content with new champions and updates every single month, plus tons of awesome bosses to take on, challenging even the most experienced players out there. And the number one reason to play Raid, it's completely free to play. Whether you want to take it easy or play casually or compete to be the best, you can do it all without spending a dime. But wait, there's more. For a limited time, new players from the US have the chance to win some fantastic in-game and real-life prizes. Like now, we just had Valentine's Day and there's some Valentine's Day Raid champions that you could win, as well as some Amazon gift cards. All you gotta do is download Raid using my link or QR code, enter your in-game player ID to raidlovequest.plarium.com and set out on this heartfelt quest. And then you just play one of the Valentine's Day mini games for a chance to win. And for MMA and pro wrestler fans out there, Y'all like this one. Don't miss your chance to get a Ronda Rousey champion by simply logging in for seven days before February 20th. You do not want to miss this once in a lifetime chance to get these unique bonuses worth $30, including a free epic champion, Chanuru, plus much, much more. Click the link in the description or the QR code on the screen to start your raid journey now. What are you waiting for? Thank you so much, Raid Shadow Legends, for sponsoring today's video. Let's get back into it. They set up some cameras in the room where their daughter sleeps watch what happens to the left you're gonna see a doorknob move and then this door starts opening now i know what you're thinking maybe there's somebody inside of this room or closet or whatever it is keep watching okay it's gonna open it's gonna open i don't think you're ready for it okay first of all there's nobody there second of all that closet is way too damn small to have anybody in it yeah how the heck did the knob move and the door open like that? <laughs> so it kind of makes sense with the whole backstory. I love when people send us videos that have like some context mm. attached to it. Pretty freaky stuff. I hope they're okay now. Yeah. All right, this video is going to really freak you out. I reacted to this same video clip with my friend James for his channel. Let me know what you think. So this little girl yeah. is in her kitchen, one of your favorite places. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> and she has something in her hand. Now watch what happens, man. She stops and it's like she's talking to somebody. And watch what happens. Like, pay attention to this box. Look at that. What? 
Whoa, did you see that? Yeah, it's like something grabbed this box. I mean, it almost looks like a magnetic force. It is creepy, okay? Force to not be messed with. <laughs> <laughs> it gets a little bit better, oh. check it out. So she's talking to it. I don't know what she's saying, but then she has this little box in her hand. Looks like a like a toy fish and tackle box, or and then that gets whoa. And then she looks at whatever that unexplainable force was, and she's like, and then she walks away. I think this has happened to her before, which is probably the reason why we could explain that she wasn't totally freaked out. I mean, something like that I had to, to me as a little kid. Oh, forget it. I'm crying to mommy. Uh, even me being 40 years old, I'm gonna go cry to mommy. What about you? Yeah, I'm I, I'm out of there, man. Uh, uh, forget it. Dang, like that's crazy. And she just walks away. Like, I'm day. good. Another day in the office. Till tomorrow. When I watched this for the first time, I couldn't really tell, but this is one of those clips that you have to really pay attention to because yeah. there's more than one thing happening. Pay attention to this window on the right, okay? I don't know why a guy has a camera. It's a pretty good camera too, set up in his room, but he does. He's hearing some noises, obviously like some tapping noises. There's even, uh, I'm, I'm just not even gonna tell you, but pay attention to the window, okay? Look at that. Just. Real, it's like little by little. See it opening? Well, yeah. And he likes to sit. He's just chilling. Like, is he even looking at it? It's hard to tell what he's doing. It's just light. I don't know. I don't even know. When I see this guy, I, I feel for him, okay? Because I've been on my laptop editing videos. And what does this guy look like he's doing? He looks like he's falling asleep. Yeah, you know, he's just kind of focused on what he's doing. And he's just, after a while, he just kind of gets tired you doze off perfect opportunity for yeah. a demon to swoop in and possess you so yeah he's just kind of like hey, can't keep my eyes open and there's some paranormal stuff happening right in front of his face okay so remember how i said that there's probably more than one thing happening here you could almost see something behind his laptop moving i don't know what it is you let me know at first i thought it was the culprit to whatever is opening that window maybe he has like a device I'm trying to debunk this so when the window opens up hardcore you're gonna see something move behind his his computer here see that yeah yeah and it's not his like what is that but <laughs> all right now that's <laughs> Now, what's crazy is you can hear a pure growl in this video. Was that growl a demon? Was it a bear? Or was it a little dog? Or I don't know, it don't sound like no little dog to me. But was that maybe his dog that was behind the computer? I mean, it, it could be, but I mean, it, <laughs> with the window cracking open, you'd think the dog would be responding more to that, you know, like yeah. maybe barking or, you know, just trying to maybe stand that up. Maybe it was a scary clown. <laughs> <laughs> Plenty of them around here. This guy knows all about scary yeah. cows. All right, moving on to the next one. Check this out. This one's pretty freaky deaky. This lady is caught on a security camera going into the elevator. This is probably like in her workplace or maybe it could be like a hotel too. Uh, she's obviously, she's got like a name badge, but the door's gonna close in the elevator. She looks a little distressed. But watch what happens. Like, it's like there's a glitch in the CCTV and like she kind of starts wigging out. Whoa. Like, I don't know if she's saying something. I mean, I even thought at one point, like maybe she was getting ready to have a seizure or pass out. Like she does not look well at all. Oh, no. So she gets out of the elevator. She's looking kind of drunk. I mean, maybe she took something. I think that's a hotel. Kind of reminds me of some of those places you went to that had some like paranormal activity. Yeah, we go to a lot of creepy hotels, but look, she lays down on the ground. I mean, maybe she was on something. Maybe she had a little too much to drink and it kind of hit her all at once. You know, them shots of Patron be hitting you. Ooh. But nah, I don't think this is Patron. Watch what happens. So the security camera fuzzes a little bit more, and then this is... Oh, no way, way, what? No, come on, no way. Oh, okay, yeah, well, that definitely wasn't the drugs then. <laughs> yeah, no, no. I mean, if it if it was, I mean, people were going to be really buying some Patron. Oh, like, man. That's, a, that's an experience right there. Oh, that's the next level, man. Buy this shot. Yeah. <laughs> dragged by the foot. 2L. <laughs> 
pretty scary, huh? Yeah. This is another clip that I reacted to with my friend James. It's pretty scary, man. So this is a family that have cameras set up all over their house because they're going through a lot of crazy stuff. So you can see the little kid here with his baby and then look at the toy. God. Just moves across the room like that. Whoa. Kid, like, he's already knowing, like he knows yeah. the drill. If this happens, you run and get mom because mom's about to come in there and show the ghost who's boss. So he goes crying to mama, little baby's in there crying. She grabs the umbrella and she's just giving the ghost a bunch of wax, okay? Like, that's crazy. Well, it gets better. So she's... Wait, no, I think that's missing a clip. If I'm not mistaken, I think she even gets pulled when she's holding her baby. I could have this clip mixed with another one that they had before, but I don't know what's going on with this family. Please say a prayer for them. This is obviously in like a different country. You see how there's something in the distance on this trail. It looks like it's floating in the air. Then it jumps down. What? And this guy is like, he's getting ready to whack it. Like he's got a big stick. It's like the tour guy. Oh, cool, I know. And then it gets back up and maybe it's a tree that they're in. But this is what I find really strange. It almost like disconnects itself into two. You see that? Whoa. See how it's like cut in half, and then that's where these oh, people are like, so bad. That's it. <laughs> we get in that. Oh, it was here. bad enough. If anybody knows about Filipino culture, they strongly believe in this. It's kind of a legend, but it's called the Aswang. And the Aswang supposedly are these creatures, and they mainly are drawn to like pregnant women. And they'll like suck your blood and stuff. They can even be shapeshifters. So they look like normal people during the day. And at nighttime, their torsos completely disconnect from their bodies. Their legs are left behind and their torso grows wings, which is crazy. Now, we didn't see it grow wings in this video, what? but I'm pretty sure that was filmed in the Philippines. I am working on a video in the future, dedicated video about Aswang, and I will kind of educate you a little bit more on that, as well as some real footage that has been captured in the Philippines, and I can't wait to share that with you. If you want to see that video, I'm going to need about 50,000 likes on this video. I know that's reaching for the stars, but I know y'all could do it. Because y'all are the fam. Okay, this looks like a creepy tunnel that you and I would Oh, yeah, I've been there, done that. Look down the hallway a little bit. I'm looking. So what if you're walking and you see this creepy little guy? What? What is... Oh, that? okay, you know... Uh, what is that? First, I would want to know where all the exit points are in that place. You know, before you go in that far, can you get out quick enough? What if the only exit was running past? Oh, come on, yeah. All right, well, I, I, you know what? You just go for it, man. You got to run it. You have no choice. You're going to have to just run. You're going to have to run like hell. You have no choice, man. Let me know here in the comments. If you were looking at this creature dead on, straight ahead of you, and the only way out was past him, but where you're at is, you know, there's a wall behind you. What would you do? Would you just stay there? Or would you just run like hell towards this thing and hope to God that it doesn't chase you down? Or I mean, you could probably just sit there and do nothing too. That's a possibility, that's an option. I would probably freeze and just be like, kill me, <laughs> just kill me. Yeah, you might do something there, but I ain't gonna say it. I ain't gonna say what it might happen. Oh yeah, <laughs> oh, that's already happened. <laughs> yeah. That's why you wear a diaper to a place yeah, like this. Yeah, that's right, man. Or maybe he's friendly. Maybe he's just curious. He's just like checking you out. Well, I don't know, he's looking kind of weird. Yeah, he's looking sus, man. He's just staring. And then he disappeared. You ever heard of astral projection? Uh, not really. So astral projection is when you have an out-of-body experience. There's oh, people that okay practice this, and they're really good at it. If you ever watched the movie Insidious? Oh, I've heard about that, yeah. Yeah, where this guy, like, every time he goes to sleep, he leaves his body, and he just, his spirit kind of travels around. But sometimes your body can be left behind for so long, and your spirit leaves when you astral project. And... Other spirits want to habitate your body because you left it. Your spirit left it. I don't know if that's what's happening in this next video here. You be the judge. But it's pretty creepy. It's like the guy dies. Wow. So he's laying there and you could see what looks like his spirit leaving his body. For me, this is astral projection. I feel like he's he went to sleep. And he's going out to explore his... Maybe that's where dreams come from. Maybe we all astral project. But you can see that there's lots of orbs around him. Probably some ghosts trying to get into his body. 
Yeah, be careful with astral projection. It could be dangerous. Yeah. If you don't know what you're doing. I don't know what's going on here. These guys are driving down a dirt road. Guy's freaking out, oh. running. He's like, don't go over there. Of course, what does the guy do? He goes over there. I don't know what the hell it is. I mean, this is like an alien or something. Okay. Like, uh, what? what is that, bro? Oh, man. Is it two animals? Like, is it an alligator that got hit by a car? Like, that just looks weird. Yeah, that doesn't look like something within the norm to me. You know, that's... And then he gets closer. It looks like a giant crab. You like crabs. Yeah, but not that big. No? I don't know. I would, I'd be afraid. I, I really don't know. I, would it be? Would it be good to eat? Probably. I was thinking it might have been a coyote, but until you look at that, you know. Uh, it's back to coyote down a dark road, not something like that. Yeah, that's weird. That's really weird. So this security officer, I think this is some hospital, and he's hearing all these noises coming from the hall. And on top of everything else, there's nothing there, nobody there and the lights are flickering. So he goes in there. Can you hear that? And you can see that red thing by just slamming. What? I didn't know what that red thing was at first, but, but it's just like slamming. And then the lights are just going crazy. All right, you know, that's, that's usually when you be walking the other way, not going towards it and like yeah. you are just, I would not be walking towards that. <laughs> Crazy or daring. But maybe I will. I don't know. I could dare then sometimes. Daring, why not, right? But still, that's crazy. This is what I don't understand. Maybe the audio's out of sync here, but he gets closer. And you could still hear banging sounds. It makes no sense at all. Okay. That was like... Maybe it's banging from the other side now or something. Huh. And then the guy's looking around. Oh, he's hearing noises around him. What? Yeah, pretty creepy. That is unexplainable. Super unexplainable. All right, let me know what you think of this, Roland, because it takes a second to get into it, but once it does, it's gonna freak you the hell out. I promise you that. So these little girls are eating, and you know, they're playing around yeah. and just having fun, and mom's recording and stuff too. And then they hear something behind them in the laundry room. What? See the little girl, like she's looking back there. I just turned off the lights, that's all. She's scared. Oh. What okay. was that? Like her sister's messing with her. <laughs> like, what? At first, I'm like, is the little girl possessed or something? No. She's just messing with her sister. When I was a kid, my sister and I would pull little pranks on each other. Angel's sleeping already. There's something about laundry rooms, though. Laundry rooms are pretty creepy. Yeah. Honey, are you almost done eating? Look, she's crying. She's scared. She saw something, and she feels it. And then look at her sister. She's laughing at her. She's laughing now. Put it around. You gotta listen to me. Put it around. Look at me. What's the matter? Why, she sees me. Okay, all right. Oh, all right, now. Okay, that's... That's not a prank. Baby, <laughs> these bumps. God. Like, what the hell happened? Whoa. I'm trying to figure out what was back there. Yeah. Was it the mom playing a prank on her kids? I've played pranks on my kids before, but it's kind of abusive if you do it that level, you know? It's, I mean, I, I've done some scary things to my kids, like, but not like that. Yeah. I got this one video. If you go far back on my channel enough, you'll find it. They were little kids, and they kept talking about this ghost in our house, and I was like... Y'all want a ghost? I'm gonna give you a bit. <laughs> so I, I dressed up in this like this little like figure. It's called Monster Outside My Window Prank. And like I started knocking on their window and messing with them and then they would look out and then I'd have like the mask there like looking at them. Oh my god. Oh dude, it was oh man. They were actually crying. I felt bad. I never did anything like that again to them, but I mean Parents were playing a prank on their kids, but they might have not have known how far they'd taken it until after, you know. Oh, I didn't think this was going to have this kind of an end result. You know what, though? Respectfully, my kids were like 10 years old. Like, these look like little girls. Like, yeah, they were much yeah. younger, you know. You know, I used to do hair. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, got the scissor tattoo right here. He did my hair before, too, so a couple times. You may or may not remember this. This was a super viral video, I don't know, maybe 10 years ago. I certainly remember it because it's at a hair salon, and it's hilarious, and it's terrifying. Check this out, bro. So they're at this beauty salon, 
and look at what they did to one of these mirrors so they're gonna put this like creepy girl behind the mirror and this mirror see how they can do this like hologram oh. they got cameras set up all over this beauty salon and it's probably around christmas time and these clients are gonna get the scare of their life oh, wow so they sit down and uh, watch this boom you know what? <laughs> <All right>. <laughs> <laughs> and like the stylist is like just not oh, happy and she's like oh that's nothing like there's nothing and they try to play it off they're like oh it's probably a scary movie playing in the background maybe it like reflected off the tv you know what i mean she's freaking out <laughs> look at this one <laughs> that thing just scared me I'm sorry. oh no and then they all just play dumb i'd be laughing so hard this is great so oh, look at this <laughs> Oh my god, look, this girl had a heart attack. Oh it's taking god. another level of this. Dude, this is so funny. Like, everybody is flipping out here. Some people are laughing. What is that the thing you, you, you chant in the mirror? Oh scary. <laughs> Let's take things up a notch. Like my boy, man. My boy Jody Dean says, uh oh, look at this. So they got homegirl oh doing the whole thing. Oh just dance. Oh, <laughs> you know, my daughter can do that. That's crazy. Does she do that? Cash. Oh my gosh. That is creepy though when you see somebody do that. Dude, that is hilarious. Like, oh, oh my God. Oh. Yeah. This doesn't look natural. She's pretty flexible. Okay, that was a prank video. I love watching people get scared. It's hilarious. It's entertaining. Yeah. But what about real stuff that happens in salons? Like some real scary, scary. I think it's a hair salon. Everybody starts noticing that this stool is moving watch what happens so it's moving oh moves. okay they all got the hell out of there and i mean it's just like moving and it's going all over the place what the what the heck it's like here have a seat and i'm gonna cut your hair instead huh <laughs> <laughs> would you ever have a ghost cut your hair i'm afraid to be scalped i saved the absolute best for last it also takes place in a barber shop it's an older video but it's one that i think was very underrated this security cam footage at this barber shop and there's a lot that happened so when i first watched this entire clip i'm like what happened i don't understand but it's far more terrifying when you look at it and pay attention i'm gonna just tell you where to look look at the blue cape in the background right there okay they're just chilling talking looks like it's moving but they have a fan on up top look, look at the blue cape you see it moving yeah Oh, no, man. Look at the receptionist. He's like, I'm getting out of here. Hey, I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> and I'm going to pause that for a second because I worked in a hair salon for 15 years professionally in a hair salon before that for an additional four years through high school. Anytime you'd have these capes fall off of a chair, it didn't fall backwards. It fell forward, you know, that way. Yeah. So how on earth did this fall backwards instead of forward? What's crazy is like everybody's reactions. Yeah. Like they're all looking at this guy like he's crazy. Like they're just like, man, is he overreacting? Like what the hell's going on? It gets better. Pay attention to this mannequin head here up top because no one noticed this. I got to the floor. Oh, okay. did you see that? Yeah, yeah. Did you know? <laughs> As they're talking about that, the whole head moved. No way. How in the world did that happen? Oh. That is beyond me. That's crazy. Oh, I mean, this guy is obviously looking in the, that direction. He's just looking at the chair. I don't know. What do you think it was? They must have built somewhere, uh, some kind of sacred grounds, maybe. I don't know. Mm, okay. You know, very possible. That makes sense. Yeah. This looks like it could be somewhere like old, maybe New York City, a lot of history oh, yeah. in the Northeast. So maybe this building itself is haunted and, you know, ghosts do travel around. Maybe it wanted a haircut. You know, I want a little bit over here too. Of course, yeah, why not? And then while I'm at it, I'm gonna freak everybody out and possess this mannequin head. If you have any clips that you wanna share with me, shoot me an email, be down below in the description. Gotta go for now before we leave, give me a kiss. Peace.